everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be trying the Christmas fast food menus. This isn't really gonna be a 24 hour video because I've kind of filmed it over two weeks, but I'm basically just trying a bunch of fast food Christmas menus because this year, the Christmas menus, oh my God, they, you know, They've gone in and I really just wanted to try them. I have done a separate video trying the McDonald's one. So McDonald's isn't in this. In this one, it's going to be KFC, Starbucks, Costa, Krispy Kreme and Prep. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. We are currently at Starbucks and we have just been around the drive through and got some of the uh, festive little little numbers from the festive menu uh we didn't get too much because we have in fact tried quite a lot of it already which is surprising because i didn't yeah. think we'd actually be able to try the full menu no neither but we actually have because we filmed a video on byron's channel where we tried some of it so we just basically got the bit that we hadn't tried yet so i have got here the gingerbread cream frappuccino but it's got no coffee in because i don't like coffee and i have the toffee nut latte mm -hmm. so let's give this a good mix and match whoa 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 that's pure gingerbread aka yankee candle is it mm. this is very toffee like it's very nutty heaven is forbid you have you seen that video of that guy is this toffee nut i'm allergic to toffee nut. <laughs> I, don't <see> <laughs> I don't know if i like this it's very christmasy but i don't know if i like it whoa let's just and yeah let's just do a little swap that doesn't taste like it's got coffee in either <laughs> oh my god that tastes like pure cinnamon toast crunch very nutty this as well it's nutastic it's awfully nutty isn't it it's very I don't know which one I prefer. I don't think I like either of them. It's the aftertaste. I'm not gonna lie. I, just, I like, think the best thing from the Starbucks Christmas menu this year was the fudge brownie hot chocolate. Amen. I don't think anything else can beat that for me personally, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to get that because I've had it so many times before. This just tastes like a candle. That is extremely nutty. It, it just, I mean, I don't know what we're expecting with toffee nut, but it just, it, it just tastes like a nut. If you like gingerbread, you will love this, but I think it's too sickly for a drink for me. We have got some, uh, we've got some food, and when I went around the drive-thru, I was like, do you have the toasty to be thankful for? It was a weird name, and then when she handed it to me, she was like, here's your toasty to be thankful for. Just very <laughs> odd. There's a, but to be fair, the Starbucks Christmas menu is massive this year, so I didn't yeah. have to give that to And do you know what was so good? The stuffing one. We Yeah, we tried the so festive panini. panini. <sighs> oh my God, incredible. You need to try that if you haven't already. Incredible. And so here, we've got our toasty to be thankful for. Are I'm you ready? Ever so thankful. Before it. I wonder what it's got in it. What has it got in it? Let's read. Oh, wow. I don't know. My God, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Look at this little. <gasps> oh, oh, Jesus. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Let's have a look what's in it. Oh, so it's got on the thing. Is those chips? I don't know what Are that is. Parsnips? So, in our toasty to be thankful for, we have got shredded ham. I need to say co Shredded ham hock, turkey, cranberry sauce, a potato, leek, cabbage, and sprout hash in a sourdough bloom atop of cheesy sauce and cranberries. I you haven't AKA like Christmas that. on a plate. Yeah, Christmas in a bread. That is a lot. That's a lot. Like a lot in a sandwich. I it wasn't expecting that. Yeah. So what though? Is it a that is very good. Is that's it? Christmas and toasty. Love the cranberry sauce. Don't mean I like cranberry, but that's really nice. Mm. The panini was better, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's bad. I don't like the cranberries. You don't like the cranberries? So I quite like the cranberries. I like the ham, yeah. but the cranberries are a bit... Cranberry is very overpowering in this. Yeah. It's all you can really taste, to be honest. If you really like cranberries, you'd really like it. However, for me, I'm not really a cranberry fan. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't get it again, but I'd give it like a 6. Yeah. Mm. The potato is nice. It looks like chips. You have to give it to them. They've really put a lot into these like festive families and stuff this year. Like, I would give that to Starbucks, but not really for me. I normally go for something a bit more... Plain, I'm not nice. It was a gherkin. A gherkin? Do you need a Brussels sprout? Yeah. A gherkin in a sandwich. <laughs> I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Not my favourite thing I've tried. No, this is the last one. This is the toffee nut latte cupcake. Oh, she's Ooh. cute though. Come on, Sam. Come on. Oh, she it. smells nice as well. I love toffee um, cupcakes. Do you? Now, this yeah. is the toffee nut latte. I think the cupcake's going to be nicer cupcake. than the latte Let's though. Let's hope. Don't really know how to go for it. Oh. Very nutty. Go not on. really. Not that. Go on, never mind. Not that nutty to be honest. Toffee. Oh, really toffee. Yeah. Really good. Oh my God, yeah. That is that is the nicest thing. Yeah. That we tried today, the toffee nut latte yeah. cupcake. Expensive cupcake, three ninety five, I think. I could make 12 uh -huh. for half the price, but I'm not going to knock it because it's gorge. Lovely cake, that. Mm -hmm. As cake goes. As a whole. As a whole, I, I like that. Yeah. As a whole for the menu. I feel I like think we've, we've got picked like the unconventional, not unconventional, but just like the least popular ones you'd go for on this Christmas menu. I think they have a wide variety yeah. of choices, which yeah. is really good for like Starbucks this year. So shout out Starbucks. You have, yeah. um, you've definitely got a wide variety of choices. Mm -hmm. I think someone, they'll, they'll be something for everyone. So, I mean, not everyone's going to like everything, but there's something for everyone. So Starbucks, I'd, I'd give you a good eight out of 10 for the Christmas menu this year. I'd give them a good eight out of 10 as well. Mm -hmm. The hot fudge brownie, no. Oh, that what hot chocolate. The hot, the hot fudge brownie hot chocolate. Oh, it is hot. Yeah, hot fudge brownie hot chocolate. Oh. 10 out of 10, you need to try it. However, on to the next. I just drove to Krispy Kreme thinking I was about to get the Christmas 
Christmas menu and it doesn't actually come out until the 6th of December and today is the last day of November. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a week and we'll try the Christmas dozen. One week later. Do you do the Christmas dozen? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Uh, no, that's everything. Thank you. I always there. go to beat Byron's car when he gets so f***ed off at me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! oh my God, look into the Christmas tree <laughs> Thank you. I've got my Christmas dozen. Do I open them? Why are you saying that? <laughs> I've got, I've, got Christmas Christmas. <laughs> I've got my Christmas dozen. You know what, I'll just show you when I get home. I'm embarrassed now. So last night, Byron took me through the Krispy Kreme drive through as you would have seen, because when me and Freya tried to go the first time, we actually went like a week before the Christmas menu came out. However, I now have with me my big box of Krispy Kreme donuts. And inside, this is the first time I looked this morning, they are so cute. Not gonna lie, I don't know what flavor's which, but I've got three original glazed in here, and then I have got three of these Christmas trees. I've got three of these like chocolate ones with Christmas sprinkles and then I have got three of these ones with just like a little holly on. I'm not going to try all of them because I'm not going to lie I'm slightly Christmas fooded out so I am going to save these for a lot of my friends to have but I think I'm going to try the green one here because it looks so cute and I feel like this just looks the most Christmassy and it has got a flake in the bottom and I love flakes. Do you reckon this is a okay it's very underwhelmingly small it's that big but it's still a flake. Is it real Capri's? Mmm. It is a real Capri's flake. I'm just going to split this in the middle to see what filling's inside. Oh, okay. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. Does it say on the bottom of the box? So it says what it's called, but I can't figure out what's in it, but it tastes a bit like cookies and cream. Obviously, we know what the original glaze tastes like anyway. The original glaze is actually one of my favourites. And then I reckon this one is basically like the Nutella one, just Christmas version. And then this one actually doesn't have anything in. It's just like a normal donut with Christmas colour sprinkles. Overall, I think the Krispy Kreme menu is fun. It's probably one of my least favourites just because I feel like they probably could have gone more out there than they did. Why do I feel like I remember some years there being like rain reindeer donuts or like is there reindeer donuts this year and they just don't come in the christmas dozen i don't know but obviously krispy kreme is quite expensive so i would expect it to be like fully out there with the christmas donuts which i feel like they could have gone a little bit harder on the christmas tree one's good but the other two i think are a bit like eh. overall i would probably rate this a five out of ten just because i feel like they probably could have pushed the boat out a little bit more and done more of like a christmasy flavor but still it's good so i said like five out of ten for krispy kreme it is time for the next christmas menu and i am gonna do prep because prep has the most incredible menu anyway let alone their christmas menu i've just had a little like brief look through oh my god so i can see on here they've got christmas stuffing mac and cheese now I don't normally like stuffing. Stuffing's really not my thing. However, I love mac and cheese. So I am at 1 million percent gonna get one of these, add that straight to my basket. Then they've either got the turkey and trimmings toasty, a brie pistachio and cranberry baguette, or a pret turkey and ham soup. Now I don't think I'm gonna like the soup. So brie, oh do I get? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like the sandwich, so I think I'm gonna get the baguette. French brie with port and orange cranberry sauce, free range mayo, toasted pistachios, and a handful of rocket. I'm gonna get that because that sounds really nice. And then they've got the nutty salted caramel brownie, Christmas tiffin, they've got a mince pie, and then they've got gingerbread latte, popcorn bar hot chocolate, or love bar latte. I'm gonna get the hot chocolate. Combining popcorn syrup and steamed milk with whipped cream and a sprinkling of chocolate powder. That sounds amazing. And that is going straight in my basket. Do I get like a sweet thing as well? Yeah, I'll get the salted caramel brownie because I love brownie. Amazing. I have ordered that. And then once it arrives, we can try it. I've got my big bag of food. There is so much in here and it smells amazing. So we've got the Christmas stuffing mac and cheese. I've got the drink here, which I actually think I need to have because it's slightly spilt in the bag. Where's the hole? So confused. And then in here, we have got... Oh my God, they added me a mince pie. I didn't order a mince pie, but they've given me a mince pie. That's so cute. Thanks, Prep. And then I've also got in here... Oh, maybe they gave me the mince pie because there was no brownie because instead they've given me a cookie, which I don't know if it's on the Christmas menu or not. So maybe that's why they've done that. So never mind. And then here I have got the sandwich as well. So I'm first of all going to try the mac and cheese because that is what I'm most excited for. Even though I don't like stuff in, I really wish I liked it, you know. Or maybe I will like it. Maybe I just need to give it another try. But this cheese on top looks, oh my God, it looks so good. Hmm, like I can't really, I can't really taste the stuffing yet. Mmm, I honestly don't think that really tastes like stuffing. It just tastes very like homely, like Christmassy. Do you know what I mean? Mmm, I was really not expecting to like this because I love mac and cheese, but the stuffing, but I think all the stuffing's at the bottom and then it's just like mac and cheese on top. So that's why I like it, which is very good. Pressed mac and cheese is honestly one of my favorite things anyway, which is probably why I like it so much, but I would definitely get this again and I rate this like 
a solid 10 out of 10. This is good. I'm gonna try the hot chocolate. Oh, not on the white sofa, you're kidding. This smells so good. That is pure, pure chocolate. I feel like it just tastes like a normal hot chocolate though. I feel like it's not anything special. Like to me, I can't, I don't even remember what it is, but it doesn't taste any different. It's really good though. It's just like a normal hot chocolate. The baguette, the brie, pistachio and cranberry baguette. Now Prep do one of the nicest baguettes ever on their normal menu. And it's the Brampton pickle one. And Flossy got me onto it. She said it was her hangover cure. And ever since, every time I get Prep, I'll either get that baguette or mac and cheese. So I do actually like Prep's baguette. I think this one will be quite nice. I've got high hopes. Oh, smells nice. Cheese as well. Oh my God. That's really good. That cheese is so nice. I don't normally have brie. That's very nice. This is a real like Christmassy sandwich. You know what I mean? Mmm. Oh, wow. Now I'm getting the cranberry. I can really taste it. I don't know if I'd be able to finish the full thing. I feel like this is one of the sandwiches that would make me feel very sick very quickly. However, it does taste very Christmassy. I actually do really like it. I'd give it an eight out of 10. Very Christmassy. It's not too much. Like I feel like some sandwiches this year from like just various places have a lot of stuff in. And this one, you know, kept it very simple but very classic i like it and then finally we have got the mince pie now honestly again i don't really normally like mince pies if i make them i always make them look like mince pies but i put jam in mine instead of mince meat however for the sake of this video i am going to give it a try because it looks very cute and a mince pie is like the most Christmassy thing you can get really not as bad as I remembered. I don't mind the mince meat. So funny because I remember the first year that I made mince pies and that like I was with it enough to know what's in a mince pie. I said to my mum, like, oh, what mince is it? And I thought it was like mince meat, like actual like beef that went in a mince pie. I feel like I'm not the only one to make that mistake before. Like obviously it's not, but did anybody else used to think that? Anyway, I'm now going to sit and finish my mac and cheese because this is the nicest thing I've probably ever had from Pret. I love it. Overall, I would rate Pret's Christmas menu. Good nine out of 10. I think it's really, really good. I think they had a lot of option. I think there's something for everyone. It's not the biggest festive menu I've seen. I think Costa has got a massive one and Starbucks has got a big one, but I think just Pretz is generally better. So yeah, Pret, you've got an eight out of 10 from me. I absolutely love your Christmas menu. Next up is Costa. So I know that the Costa Christmas menu is actually insane. When I was scrolling down Uber Eats, I was like, oh my God. Let me just read out to you some of the other bits on the festive menu that I didn't order. So they've got Art 8 hot chocolate, Black Forest hot chocolate, Quality Street Latte, Terry's Chocolate Orange hot chocolate. They've got Aero Rocky Road, Pigs Under Blankets Panini. They've got so much stuff. Costa isn't the biggest menu that I've seen. I'd say the biggest menu that I've seen so far would be the Starbucks one. Um, but I think Costa drinks have absolutely topped it for me. I mean, Quality Street Latte. I mean, I don't like Latte, but Quality Street. And terry chocolate orange hot chocolate this is what i've got here i have got the terry chocolate orange hot chocolate and i just know i'm gonna absolutely love it oh my god it smells insane this is actually gonna be my go-to drink now i feel like for the rest of december okay let's give it a try no words oh my god it is literally liquid chocolate orange this is beautiful i love a hot chocolate though like any sort of hot chocolate i'm in love with this is good where's it dripping from though i'm just gonna take the lid off because i don't understand where it's dripping from ah Side of the cup. Honestly, best Christmas drink I've had so far. Rating out of 10 out of 10. And then food wise, I didn't want to go too crazy, um, but I did get two things. So I got the festive sandwich, which is in here. Oh, it's warm. It's warm. I didn't realize it was going to be warm. And I've also got in here the after eight muffin. I love after eight. It's not as much as I love chocolate orange, but I still wanted to try it because it sounded very interesting. But let's try the toasty first. Did not realize this was going to be warm. Oh, and it's got lots of cheese in it as well. It smells like the McDonald's festive stack by the way the mcdonald's festive stack like nothing will top that this christmas that is my favorite thing that i think i've ever eaten um but this really really smells like it mm, very cranberry what is actually in this bacon cranberry stuffing and turkey maybe with cheese i think just for me i'm just not like a massive fan of festive sandwiches i don't know what it is i will say this is probably the nicest one i've had I'm trying to think what i had from what did i have from pret yesterday i know i had the mac and cheese oh i had the baguette that's it so this is the first like actual full-blown christmas sandwich i've had i think unless i have one from starbucks i filmed this over quite a few days i can't really remember i'm not gonna lie this is probably the nicest festive sort of sandwich i could go for because i don't like anything too overpowering and this isn't too much i would rate that maybe a seven out of ten not the best sandwich i've ever had but also not the worst cheese and cranberry mixed together surprisingly well next up let's try the after eight muffin i'm not gonna lie really not ready <laughs> The whole top just fell off. Oh my God, all the icing just fell off onto the side. Okay, that's good then. This one's really after eight. You just really like minty. Let's have a big bite of this. It's just like eating an after eight. And it's got the after eight like 
sauce inside. That's good. Mm. So gooey. Like the consistency of this muffin is so, so gooey. Oh, it's beautiful. The chocolate's so rich as well. And it was really affordable. This muffin was... 225 which for a muffin from like Costa or like somewhere like that, I mean, that's really good. Overall, I'd have to say the drink is definitely my favorite thing. I just love chocolate orange though. If you prefer after eight, you're probably gonna love after eight. Very intrigued about the Quality Street uh, latte, the purple one. I can't remember if I've tried that in a video before or not, but that sounds really good. But overall, I would rate Costa's menu an eight out of 10 because for me, the drinks have definitely won this year. Like I don't think you could top the drinks that they offer. The food, I think lets it down slightly. I don't think there's as much choice as there is elsewhere like Starbucks however i do really like it and i am about to have my last meal for this video so i thought i would end it on another fast food restaurant and at this time i've gone for kfc so the kfc christmas menu they do like three big kind of like deal things what they're calling christmas specials but it's not like a christmas flavored anything i think it's just like a more amount of food for your money basically but i decided to get the single box meal and it's called the gravy burger box meal so you basically get a pot of gravy and you have to pour it on the burger so realistically is it really like a christmas I don't know because people probably do that anyway, but that is what they're saying is their Christmas menu this year. The bag is Christmassy, I can see that. KFC has got kind of like snow on it, but other than that, I feel like it's just pretty much a normal KFC meal. And the box is Christmassy. The box is actually so cute. It's got like red and pink little like houses on it with people delivering KFC. So let's open this up and see. So we have got here the burger, we've got the gravy, and then you get one mini fillet with it. And then I ordered two extra hot wings, which I think are here because hot wings from KFC in my face. Yeah, they are. So I basically just need to get the burger and pour the gravy on it. Yeah, because it doesn't have gravy in it already. So the burger's got in itself chicken cheese and a hash brown. And then I don't know if I want to pour like too much gravy on it because i actually would like the gravy with some chips but let's just pour a little bit here like this very odd let me know if any of you do this anyway before they made this their like christmas special okay let's give it a try i mean it's a good burger but is there anything christmasy about it no to me it just kind of tastes like any other normal kfc chicken burger chicken's gorgeous though but mm, i feel like mcdonald's has gone really out there with the christmas menu they've got like two four new burgers and i say that like you know they've put, they've put stuffing in and cranberry sauce and cheese and onion chutney and stuff whereas kfc have literally just like took more of their items and mixed them all together which i'm pretty sure people have done before so i would have liked to have seen an actual christmas element to it like even though i don't like stuffing like imagine if they added stuff into a burger or something like that i thought Christmas king was going to be my lowest but then i want to rate kfc the lowest because it's not as christmasy but then i do like the taste so taste wise i'm going to give it an eight but christmasy wise i'm honestly going to give it like a two the most christmasy thing about this kfc meal is the box however the burger does taste amazing i am going to end this video here thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed let me know down below if you guys have tried anything from the christmas food menus this year and if you have what has been your favorite thing i would say even though it wasn't in this video the mcdonald's festival stack is definitely up there the terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate is beautiful and i think yeah i say they're my favorites i say they're probably my favorites from this year and the mac and cheese actually from pret that was beautiful but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye